What is up, car addicts? Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new race judo joker and I made uh, for live streams. As you all may know, if you saw Saturday's live stream, it was a bit hectic. Well, a a <laughs> it was very hectic. Uh, we had a lot of people bringing uh, cops and stuff onto the runway we we're trying to do drag races on. The car meet turned into a disaster when the cops started showing up and people were killing each other. and It was very, very hectic. So we designed a race just for that where it's very organized there's no way to bring cops because one of the levels will be turned off catch up and slipstream are off so everything seems pretty much the same um to not so we don't have people trying to actually win the race we did put it to 99 laps because in, in all reality once we're done we're done we're not actually going to sit there and do 100 laps of this but um this race is for uh drag races the drag races are about half a mile and um, also uh, the car meets as well. We have a, a section just for car meets. So it's got little podiums and stuff where you can put your car up on top. You can showcase it. So basically the way it would work, which I'm going to show you guys right now when we start it, is you would bring the cars up and get out of your car and then uh, show your car off. And Judo and I are going to demonstrate uh, the drag races as well as the, uh, the car meet section. So uh, is, is there anything you wanted to say, Judo? Uh, yes, hi, my name is uh, Judo Joker on PSN. I've been friends with uh, Oak, uh, Oak and Birch, aka Digital Car Addict, for quite a while on YouTube, and I really enjoy making uh, content creator races. As you may know, uh, I created the race Baby Raceway, which Oak uses for his um, track testing videos, and uh, he approached me to uh, help him make this uh, this drag race slash uh, car meet uh, I guess quote race um, and we worked quite a lot on it together he actually uh, had a huge part in helping me directly through uh, through share play and we spent a lot of time uh, making sure it's top quality and it looks nice uh, I'm I'm very proud of it he's very proud of it so uh, we're look, uh, looking forward to showing it to you guys. All right. The uh, Judo Joker's link to his channel will be placed in the description if you guys want to check him out. He makes very good races. Let's go ahead and start this up and showcase this race for you guys. Alright, so first off, this is the starting grid back here, and we actually incorporated it with the runway since the runway already has this extra straight section right here. But as soon as we start off right here, what will happen is we'll go ahead and make a left right here. And then this is the car meet area. I have like the little uh, security uh, gate right here. And this right here is the uh, car meet area. Judo, if you want to demonstrate how we would uh, park for the car meet area. So we have a few like different spots. We have like a stage here that you could place cars on. And right now we're in, uh, I believe, um, regular contact mode. But if, if you were to set it on GTA mode, provided you had a uh, a lobby that you could trust not to uh, harass other people, like you could turn it on GTA. And like you could get out uh, right here, and you could watch drag racing, or you could check out other people's cars. So it would uh, be like a, like a, a traditional car meet that you'd have in free in free room, except you wouldn't have to worry about uh, wanted levels or anything like that. And uh, it's also like just provides a little bit of extra scenery. So like you could have cars parked, uh, say, um, off the ramp over here. And another idea I had is that uh, I remember seeing, like in the old days when uh, um, uh, GTA was first started, people would have like uh, uh, car meets to where like a uh, host would grade cars. So I have this stage here to where like one car can go up on a time, and 
uh, people can judge it and like say you could use that stage for like a podium or for whatever. But um, like you like you could have like uh, a realm of possibilities for what you could do to, uh, on it. And also, there's um, a second level to the car meet area um, up up this ramp, and there's another security booth right here that uh, um, just a little bit of extra scenery, but. You can come up here, same thing, park cars, um, and also there's a, a bleacher area. Um, you, know, you can't really sit on them, but it's just more for the effect. But uh, but um, uh, one thing you'll notice is that it it, um, it provides a great view from up here of the uh, of the drag racing, so you could watch from a, a really nice perspective and still have uh, like cars behind you meeting up here and whatnot. And uh, this was an idea that we had to make a car meet area um so we kind of went with a little bit like we didn't want to make too many too many uh uh details but we wanted to to have uh enough room to to place cars out and and show off cars and whatnot all right that was a car meet area thank you judo for introducing that section so um, right here we have the uh, drag race section, so this will take place after the car meet. So right here you can obviously pick a side, so go ahead and go on the right, go you on the left. And uh, these yellow marks are right here. So uh, for example, let's say there's two guys that are about to drag race right now. The second set of people would wait right here. So in between the yellow lines you have a set of cars. This, this also clearly identifies the person next to you before the drag race so you can see the kind of car that you're racing and if you don't like that you can just move off to the side like this and uh, you can try to race with someone else but keep in mind that once you start getting closer to the front parts you really should be where you show up in the front without show the chosen person you want to race against if not then it gets kind of hectic but so let's go ahead and move up so let's pretend the people in front of us already took off so now it'll be our turn so line up to the white line make sure your car is right behind it all right so the red sign allow me to explain this was Judo's idea but uh this red sign basically if you notice there's an exclamation point right in the center in white so the way it works is the red uh, building block that's in the center of it once the white exclamation point turns red with the red building block going through it the white portion is covered by the red part then you would go so let's go ahead and uh do a little trial uh, judo uh we'll go right uh right after this one i'm gonna get a horrible launch yep not as good as launching as a uh, digital car addict over here As you can see, the firework also uh, shows which person won. Unfortunately, only the player that went through it can see it for some reason. But, uh, but yeah. And here we also have our second entrance to the uh, car meet area. So this, for example, if you're tired of quarter mile drag racing, you don't really want to race anymore. Um, you can just come up here and then you can watch other people racing. So that's what this is for right here. It does look really cool when uh, cars are flying by. Uh, Judo, if you want to demonstrate how it looks when a uh, car is flying by, it, it actually looks pretty cool. Alright. And also, uh, also notice that you might have uh, recognized that we've put slow strips uh, um, in a few places. That's to help uh, keep people from flying too fast crashing into things causing chaos and whatnot so just a little bit of a added feature that we put in there you go demonstration there by Jiro Joker. 
Also, you can, uh, from that perspective, like as the cars go by, you have a pretty good, um, uh, you can hear them pretty well. There you and one there. thing that both of us really like about about this is, uh, it started out as just like a, a, the airfield, um, but now it doesn't even look like an airfield. It just looks like a drag strip. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the main point of it, Drew, when I tried to create. Because when I was making my live stream the other day, I, I got a little frustrated with the uh, stuff that was going on. But, I mean, I, I worked through it. I mean, I can understand uh, some people want to play games and have fun. But I believe that's something you should do in free roam on your own with other people. But when people are trying to be serious and have fun, it's not fun anymore when people start uh, messing up other people's fun. So that's why we created this. Uh, keep in mind for anyone that tries to start going backwards on the track or anything like that I will simply tell the live stream chat to go ahead and hit start and then we will go to uh, players and then uh, right there we were just supposed to kick you so there, there's no way for you to do things crazy like that and try to cause chaos I mean it is fair for everyone and it's and it's a lot of fun. And it's just this is a lot of fun about this. It's not just seeing which car is faster. It also do a lot with your launch, uh, the way you double clutch your car if you do, which is very helpful on certain cars, and just things like that. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks again for Judo Joker for uh, being right here on me with his chat, introducing the race to you guys. Um. Again, the live streams are every Saturday, so on Saturday I'm going to be hosting this at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and anyone who wants to join can join. The first one uh, will be set to uh, Supercars, and uh, the ones after that will follow by class. So every week the class will change, and then once we've gone through all the main classes that everyone races... Then we're going to go back into the stun races and stuff like that. But th this is the main thing we're going to be doing for now. And, um, yeah, we'll see how this takes us in the future. See how everything works out. I'm pretty sure all you guys are going to love it. Uh, I'm not going to release the race yet. I'm not going to put the link in the description yet. I will put the link in the description in the live stream. But, um, if a lot of you guys ask me in the comments, I mean... I might just go ahead and send it to you, but I really want to keep this a surprise for everyone to experience it for themselves on Saturday. But, again, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.